Newburn Kennel owners shared their reaction with WNCT today. We learned that two more pets were actually lost in Monday's fire at Linares Kennel. That means families are mourning the loss of 27 dogs. 20 pets did survive that fire. The cause is still under investigation. WNCT's Kelly Byrne reports the owners are now trying to pick up the pieces. The owners tell me they're trying to cope with this terrible loss, but don't want to give up caring for animals just yet. Everyone's crying with us. The couple who runs Lanier Kennels has been on an emotional roller coaster after over two dozen dogs were killed in a fire at their facility. They're part of our pet family, and the pets that we lost yesterday were our family. We love them like our own. Owner Linda Jarvis even lost one of her own dogs in the fire. Despite the tragedy, many of her customers have begged her to build again. I can tell you that it is our plan to rebuild the kennel. She tells me her insurance may help the owners heal as well by providing compensation for them to purchase a new dog. Money doesn't help the loss. You know, you can't replace their dog. But as dog lovers, Many of them want another dog, and that's all I can do is help with that. There's been an outpouring of support for both the owners of the kennel and the dogs lost. A makeshift memorial now sits outside the facility. I just felt like I wanted to do something, and since I didn't know any of the people or the dogs, it just seemed like it was something you could show your remembrance. Jasper Riggs lives right down the street from the kennel. He told me he wants to express sympathy to the owners of Lanier Kennels and the owners of the dogs lost. Buildings can be rebuilt, but these pets, these pets are irreplaceable to us. Despite the tragedy, they hope they haven't lost the trust of the community. In New Bern, Kelly Byrne, not on your side. Investigators say there is no sign of foul play and believe the fire may have started in the attic.